Hello, I am the Castaway DC, and I thought I'd share a few thoughts on the Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, since we've seen a bit more of it at E3. Obviously, that came out a few days ago at the time of recording. Um, but this is Midgar, and Midgar looks absolutely fantastic. Um, it's got a very European feel to it, the way the buildings look, but it is kind of, um, until you get to this point, um, but it is kind of how I imagined Midgar to look back in the day. This is kind of like when you remember your rose tinted glasses, this is what you see, and it's incredible what they've done with the city. And they've obviously got a few classic shots here just to um, further help you in the settings. Um, showing the various different gameplay functions. And we get introduced to Barrett's crew here, of course. Um, Jesse, Biggs, and you do get a little glimpse of Wedge in the background. Um, it's about to come up in a second, I believe. There he is. And that's all you see of Wedge. Um, but, I mean... The way they've kind of stayed faithful, but also modernised the game, from what I can see, they've done a, a marvellous job of staying faithful, but bringing it up to modern day audiences so we can stand up to modern day scrutiny. So obviously they're aiming for it to be not only faithful sort of fans of yesteryear will love it, but people who've never played it before will come in and love it. And of course, there's Tifa Lockhart. A, um, a long time favourite character of mine um, and you know I love that I like to say I watched that all the options within the original game and I hope they still have this in there I'm sure they will but I always tended to pick Tifa over Aerith which obviously softens latter events in the game shall we say um, just in case someone who's not played the game watches this I don't want to spoil it too much Um I think this is the first time we actually get to see um, Tifa in action. And then I think there's a little snippet of her fighting, but we don't get to see much of her. It's mainly Barrett and Cloud we see um, that we've seen so far. Yeah. Because Final Fantasy VII has always held a special part in the um, hearts of the Final Fantasy community, mine included. And it's not actually my favourite um, Final Fantasy, but um, mine being is actually b9 this was my first foray into the genre of jrpgs and final fantasy as a whole um and so obviously it will always be a game i go back to and i do tend to play i well i did tend to play it like once every couple of years do a bit of run through again um but having seen more cutscene stuff and more um gameplay stuff I can't wait to get my hands on to it. I have a favor to ask of you. This Run bit, away. I'm wondering if this is Midgar, or if this might be a clip from Nibbleheim. Like an updated version of Nibbleheim, where it's more than just six buildings and a water tower. And that was just brilliant. Now I'm going to go into the gameplay bit, just have a little look at it, into the gameplay um, element. So this is obviously the first boss um, that you meet in the game, and it's like a look, again modernised but still faithful. So you know it's recognisable. You know exactly what it is from the original game, and the fight the fighting is kind of like um, Final Fantasy 15, but also elements of Final Fantasy 12. From what I can tell, I don't know if it's gonna quite have the command system 12 has, where because. Every time they switch and do big moves between the different characters, it seems to be you have to control the character um, that does the big move. Um, but maybe there is going to be an element where you can actually program it in. So here we go, we're going to see the first um, little bit of a, a bigger move there. I love the, like, the little incidental talking. And also, um, Cloud, um, in this thing, as he discovers weaknesses, the way it kind of seamlessly just explains to you what you should be doing within the combat is lovely. And this is obviously a new, this, this barrier thing, and um, it's a nice way of 
giving a bit of twist. Unfortunately, they've kind of given away, in releasing this in trailer, they've kind of given away the secret of what you're going to have to do. But, like, instead of the when the tail's up, don't attack, and you just wait and it does nothing, um, it continues to attack but gains this extra strong shield. And then the trailer has kind of given away the secret. Um, something that you probably would have had to discover had you not seen this. Um, but, I mean, that's as much as we can actually say about the trailer, to be honest, and about what we've seen. The, um, I mean, they've explained within the um, presentation that, of course, you will be able to have um, shortcuts key set up. And I think that you can actually see um, in the bottom corner a few shortcuts. Um, the, I think these are actually the standard shortcuts, but you can actually hotkey the very special attacks as well or go into the menu and I do like the slow motion effect in the menu so it's all all the combat is um, real time and as you see as he goes in and uses an item it freezes um, and the fact that you can actually use you know items around the world as well that is a promising aspect um, like the, the world seems to be a lot more dynamic than um, any Final Fantasy that I've played previously. And I've played most of them. I've played all the main series ones. I think it's a few tactics games and Chocobo Racing are probably the only Final Fantasy games I've not played. But I'm very excited for this. I can't wait for it to come out. Um, but I, I am struggling to figure out a bit I have to say. So I think it's a good point to sign off. If you have watched up until this part of the video, thank you very much. Um, have a nice day, take care of yourselves, and um, hopefully you'll see another one of my videos. And it'll be a bit less rambly. This one I've decided not to script. I thought I'd just express um, my thoughts. That's why it's so rambly. But until next time, goodbye, and thanks for watching.